Welcome to Yoga with Lynn and Leo. This is a collection of supine poses. Leo will be practicing with props and Lynn in the white will be practicing the classic poses. Be on your mat. Be in a supine position ready to straighten your legs. When you straighten your legs, stretch the legs with resistance. Come for Uddhva Hastasana, take the arms above your head. If you have difficulty with your shoulders or your arms reaching the floor, then take a bolster or height to rest the back of the palms, the back of the wrists. Take a few breaths, a few deeper, longer inhalations and exhalations. To come out of the pose, take the arms down beside the waist. Supta Tadasana. Prepare for your next pose. Supta Padangashtasana 1. If you're tight in the hamstrings and hips, then take a yoga belt. Place the belt around the ball of the foot. If you're fairly flexible, then hold your big toe with your two fingers and thumb. Reach the leg up towards the ceiling. 90 degrees if you're using the belt. If you're coming into the classic action, you may be able to take the leg a little bit further towards you. Be sure that the grounded leg is moving towards the floor side, extending to the heel and ground down with the back of the thigh. Coming out of the pose, releasing the legs down. Come back for Supta Tadasana. Readjust and extend the legs away from you. Reaching your left leg this time, place the belt or use your two fingers and thumb. Remember some of those key points. The lifted leg needs to be strong and straight. Extend into the heel. Be sure that the thigh bone of the lifted leg is moving away from the body. And be sure that you're anchoring with a grounded leg. Releasing the leg down. Coming for Supta Tadasana. This time we're going to take the leg straight up. See if you can take the leg a little bit closer towards you. If you're holding on to the belt, then hold both sides of the belt with each hand. If you're practicing the classic pose, lift the head towards the thigh. Releasing the arms and legs down. Bend your left leg. Extend the leg up. If you're using the belt, see if you can take the leg a little bit further towards you. If you're in the classic pose, then lift the head towards the knee. Keep the grounded leg grounded. Preparing for our next pose. Bend your right leg. We're going to be taking the leg out to the side. So taking the leg out to the side, being mindful that the pelvis stays as level as possible. This is achieved by grounding the left leg very firmly down into the ground. If you find this challenging, then you can place a bolster or a foam pad underneath the outward leg, releasing down. Preparing for the other side. Bend your left leg and take the leg up towards the ceiling. Take the leg out to the side and again Keep steady in that grounded leg, so the right leg needs to be grounded. As you take the leg over to the side, be sure that you maintain the stability in the hips. Bring the leg back. Re-establish Supta Tadasana. Coming for Supta Padangashtasana 3. Take hold of the belt or the big toe. Extend the leg up. Bring the leg slightly towards you 
as you bend your right arm. Lift the upper body and see if you can take your arm around the back of the head. When you're in this position, ground down with your grounded leg so the left leg needs to be strong. Lean back into your arm. Take a few breaths. Be sure that you're lifting from the base of the abdomen, releasing out of the pose and taking the leg down. Coming for the other side, bend your left leg, take hold of the big toe, extend the leg up. Soften the left elbow, lift the body and see if you can take that arm around the back of the head. Maintain the extension in your right leg. See if you can get the lift from the base of the body. Extend and lengthen into the pose by reaching the back of the head to the arm. Take a few breaths and then come out of the pose. Taking the legs down, re-establish Supta Tadasana. We're coming for taking the leg across. Pavrita Supta Padangasthasana with your right leg. Lift the leg to 90. Use either the two fingers and thumb or the belt as you take the leg across the left leg. Maintain the strength in the left leg and extend into the heel. Then bringing the leg back. Preparing for the other side. So taking your left leg up, either use the belt or hold the outer edge of the foot as you take the leg across the body. Maintain the strength in the right leg as you take the leg across the body. Keep the left leg as straight as possible. And then release in the pose. Taking the leg back, re-establishing your supine position, Supta Tadasana. Coming to a seated position, coming to Dandasana. If you find you drop your back, sit on a height. As you can see here in the video, Leo is sitting on a bolster. We're preparing for Janyushishasana. So if you can maintain the lift of the spine, then you can sit to the floor. Start by bending your right leg into a Baddhakanasana action. If you need a belt to reach forward, then take that around the ball of the foot. If you're coming into the classic action, extend forward. Hold on to both sides of the feet. Bend your elbows and rest along your leg. If you've got stiffer hips and hamstrings, then hold on to your belt, keeping and maintaining the lift through the front body. Edge yourself forward gradually. Take time with this. Soft inhalation and exhalation. Coming up out of the pose, stretching your legs back into Dandasana. Sit with your spine ascending, preparing for our left side. Bend your left leg into Baddhakanasana. And again, those of you who find these seated poses quite difficult, then sit higher and use your belt. Take the belt around the ball of the foot. Use it as a fulcrum to lift your spine. If you're coming into the classic pose, then extend to the foot and extend fully. If you're modifying the action, then walk along your belt. Keep your back extended. Keep the support of the abdomen towards your spine. Soft inhalation and exhalation. When you come out of the pose, be sure that you maintain the support of the spine as you come back into a seated position. Extend the legs straight out in front of you. 
Dandasana. Here coming for Shavasana. So bend your knees and lie back in a supine action. Soften your knees and extend your legs away from the body. Just let the body settle. Soft inhalation and exhalation. When you're in this pose, it's really important to relax and to release any tension. Soften around your facial features, the cheekbones, and let the back teeth be apart. Soften the throat. Let the shoulders release. Let the abdomen become soft. Just let the legs release out to the sides. Soft inhalation, soft exhalation. This now concludes our video. We hope you've enjoyed practicing our supine collection and we look forward to seeing you again soon.